Today I've got a test for you that's a little bit different than what I normally do, but hopefully it will explain why I'm testing the way I do. Today I'm going to test the exact same round from three different barrel lengths, and you'll see the effect that barrel length can have, and sometimes the substantial effect that barrel length can have on a particular round of ammunition. So, the firearms chosen are all Taurus judges. I've got the circuit judge with an 18 inch barrel. We've got uh, the raging judge with a six and a half inch barrel. And we've got the little public defender with a two inch barrel. And the ammunition we're firing out of it is Buffalo bore, uh, standard pressure, 40 heavy 45 Colt item three F, which they have it listed on the box rated at 1100 feet per second, but that doesn't say what barrel length it's from. So I'm going to fire this round into some clear ballistic, synthetic ballistic gelatin from each of these guns and show you what the resulting bullet looks like. Looking at this gel block, we can make some interesting discoveries. First of all, this bullet that stopped at 12 inches, that's from the Raging Judge. That's the uh, medium barrel length, the 6.5 inch barrel. These other two bullets, those are from the longer and the shorter barrel. So both of them penetrated much further than the middle barrel one did. The one from the circuit judge, we don't know exactly how far it went because you can see there's a bounce back track. So it actually penetrated deeper and bounced back. So it's probably fair to say that they both went to 16 inches. So even though one of them was 200 feet slower per second and one was 100 feet faster per second, than the Raging Judge, they both penetrated deeper and the Raging Judge stopped right on 12 inches. So let's get into the bullet exam and see what happened. So here are the three different Buffalo Bore bullets from the three different barrel length judges and they really demonstrate exactly what I was looking for. This one, I don't know what this piece is, but it was in the gel with this bullet. These two don't even look like they could be from the same bullet family, do they? I mean, this thing, it, a third of the bullet didn't expand. What did expand is pretty mild. You can see that it's it's there, but it's nothing compared to this behemoth. This is a gigantic, savage, vicious bullet. And so what we have here, we have the public defender delivering 911 feet per second out of its two inch barrel. It was just not enough. It didn't get the job done. Now this one penetrated deeply because it didn't expand. So it made a smaller face to the bullet and it, it put up less drag in the gel. So it did penetrate deeply, but you know, you don't want to rely on that. So 911 feet per second. This one was from the raging judge, six and a half inch barrel, and it delivered 1,072 feet per second. Now on the box or on the website, Buffalo Bore rates these at 1,100 feet per second. So at 1072, we were obviously right there in the window uh, exactly where the bullet's going to perform its best. And then this is from the circuit judge, 18 and a half inch barrel. And we picked up another 127 feet per second. This was uh, 1199 feet per second. And you can see it's just, it's on the edge of coming apart. It did not expand to a large size. It, it It's really the smallest portion of it. And then the what the pedals that should have expanded out uh, came close to being ripped off. They weren't actually ripped off, but they're they're obviously in pretty poor shape. So, which of these, if you had to bet your life on a bullet performing well, which one would you want to bet on? You know, for me, there's no question. This is the one that performed the best, and that is the one that was rated, that performed at the rated speed that's on the box. This was way too slow, and this was way too fast. So, when you're choosing ammo, you got to factor in the barrel length of the gun because it makes a big difference in how the ammo performs.